We're just going to um, drill the holes for the heat bed, um, the heat bed corner screws. Now we've grabbed an aluminium plate, and the aluminium plate is around, let's just measure it up, uh, 2300 by 2250 approximately. And it's uh, 2.5 millimeter, two millimeters fine as well. Um, anything more than 2.5, it starts to get a little bit heavy, um, but three probably would work all right. So we've just lined our heat bed up uh, approximately in the middle of it. And we're just gonna, just gonna um, mark the four corners with a two mil drill bit. And just do that now. Clamp the heat bed. Um, clamp the heat bed to the aluminium just with a bit of paper on the top to protect the heat bed, and some just some small vice grips. And now we can take the heat bed off. We mark the holes, and we'll just can take that off. And we're just going to drill out those drill out those holes now. So that's a pilot holes drilled. Now we're just going to change our drill bit and we're going to use an M4. Um, the reason for that, um, the reason we're not using an M3, which is the same size hole as the heat bed, is to give a little bit of movement and play. And later on we're going to have some washers to give us some movement there so we can align it with the heat bed. We're going to mark the positions for the uh, bed bearing mounts. So there's um, three bearing mounts, and the one, the single one on one side, is going to be um, right in the centre. So we're around 230 long. So 115. Just mark, put a mark here, or a couple of marks. And for the other side, we're going to come in around 40 millimeters from the ends. And we can install our bearing mounts. We can drill the uh, pilot, drill the holes. Okay, so I've organised a uh, two a two mil drill bit just for our pilot holes, and just uh, just going to mark the positions for those holes in the centre of these bearing mounts. Bearing mounts off. Let's drill those holes out. And we're going to drill them out to 4.2. This gives a bit of clearance. We're using four M4 self tappers. So now it's time to install our bearing mounts. Um, we've got uh, three self-tapping screws. They're probably about 20 to 25 mil long. Uh, M4s, M4 self-tappers. And just reinstall our bearing mounts. We deburred the holes. So just line up your 
bear them out so with the holes. And then install your screws. And um, I've also marked uh, top, T for top, and F for front, just so we keep the same orientation as we're building. And we're going to install that now in between the two bars and line those up. So now we can install our, our um, heat bed. So what you can do is just put it in the middle and the, the bushes, the rubber bushes give it quite a bit of flexibility so you can just force those bars apart and click it in, in the top and then just test it, test the alignment. Now you want to make sure there's no, no play so there shouldn't be any movement, any vertical movement in the bed so just check that, it should be fairly tight. You can see it's a little bit loose here, so we're going to have to adjust, adjust it. It's tight at that end, and then it's loose at this end. So what we'll do is we'll bring this over. So we'll just loosen up these two screws, push the bed to the other end. And there's quite a bit of play in these brackets, these long slotted holes, which give around uh, eight, 8 mil movement. So just loosen it up so you can slide it. Quite, quite tricky with the rubber to get it quite loose. It'll probably come in, I'll just test it by hand. So that's pretty much what I want it. And then just tighten it down. And don't over tighten it. The rubber shouldn't compress too much. Another two and just test it and, and it's tight in either, at either end there. And also just to fine tune it you can tighten these inside screws to give it more, more pressure inwards because you're clamping these bearings. You're using the force of the rods to clamp the bearings and that's, that's pretty tight all the way through now. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure the screws are tight enough so it doesn't move over time. things moving the print. 